don't think I'm ridiculous. I think I'm more like absurd. Nah, absurd's a little too strong too. Let's say lukewarm silly. Yeah. What is up everyone, this is Jake back with another video and today it is my second upgrade box. I am very, very stoked for this. Uh, the first upgrade box I got was stupendous. It was last month or month before, I don't know. I think I ended up missing a month on it because I was lazy and I didn't subscribe back quick enough. But that's my fault, not upgrade's fault. Uh, I got this one a lot quicker than I got my first one, so I am really stoked to get into this. But before we do, as usual, you know what to do. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought about the video. You know how I love that. And it helps the mystical YouTube algorithm and could possibly get me more views, so do that, yeah! Also, stop by my Etsy store where I have art prints, I have stickers, I have comic books, shameless plugging, yada yada yada. And then, if you want to check out more of my art, you can go to my Instagram, which is at brownjakens, that's B-R-O-W-N-J-A-K-E-N-S, and check more that stuff out because I have next to no followers, which whatever, I don't really care about Instagram all that much. YouTube, that's where it's at, baby. For the sake of not rambling on for too long, let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, let's get started. Upcrate, man, I'm telling you, that first one I got was extra, extra spicy, and I liked it quite a bit. So hopefully the second one is as good, if not as good, just like kind of close, you know. Because the last one, the value was really good. Like the value was really, really good in the last one, so I was really impressed. Also, don't mind my disgusting hands. I've been uh, testing out an airbrush. I just recently got one, and well, needless to say, I'm not very good with it yet. <laughs> I'm practicing. I'm getting there. Got to crack a few eggs, right? I don't know. All right, here we go. Weird supplies inside. Ooh. It's a very uh, interesting warning, I like that. Um, before I look in the book, I'm gonna open the package, because I don't wanna ruin anything. I feel utensils of sorts, the, of the drawing variety. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside. I'm not even gonna look at the stickers yet, because they look really awesome. All right, let's go ahead and open this bad boy. Ooh, I hope it is weird. Oh, God, I love these pins. The Ecoline, man, I have one right down here that I've been using all the time. The Ecoline pins are Friggin' awesome. Okay, give me just a second. I'm lay all this out and we'll get back to it. Well, once again, the initial impression I have of an upgrade box is uh, Double Shift's Kiss. I love these Ecolon pins. They are stupendous. I love these pins so very much. And a Sakura Pigma Micron tin. Oh, I wish it smelled, but it doesn't. These are my favorite pins. Good sketching pencil, whatever. It could be any pencil. It doesn't matter if it's graphite, it's fine. Brush EX, extinguishing solution for brush, pen, and ink, upgrade edition. Oh, that's cool. So is it like a thinner, I assume? Excellent. And here's some watercolors. Man, this is gonna be cool. I like this a lot. Uh, these brush pens, I'm telling you, if you haven't used the Ecoline brush pens, they are cool. And this little, look at this little art spaz sketchbook. This is cool as can be. They got a little thing in there, 15% off coupon. As always, they give you the HelloFresh uh, gift card. They give you these awesome little stickers. Look at these stickers. Oh, they're adorable. I love them. And then this, the art pieces they give you are great as well. I mean, this looks awesome. This is really, really good. So that's the hashtag, MyWeirdArt underscore. Not the hashtag, but the, the, the Instagram name. So follow this person, MyWeirdArt underscore. Yulia Orlova. I guess. I think I'm being very offensive when I try to pronounce any sort of foreign name. I'm just a dumb American. I can't help it. Forgive me. Uh, once again, though, Battle Post Magazine is great. Like, it goes over what you can use these for, what you can do with them. And the first box they had, the, the Battle Post Magazine, it was excellent. That's where I got my idea from the drawing from. Weird monsters I've seen so far. So let's flip through here. Let's see. Extinguishing. Oh, extinguishing solution. So, so no, it isn't a thinner. It just rubs it out. That's super cool. Man, so it's just like a like a deleter. Ooh, boy, that's cool. I like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just test this stuff out right now because I am too excited to not be testing right now. So we'll start simple. We'll test out this pencil. It's just a 2B pencil, so it should be just a good dark pencil. It is. You can't go wrong. It is a pencil that writes. So there, that works. It's a pencil. So now, ooh, I'm gonna try these. I'm excited. So I'm gonna start with the, the lightest. If this is a lemon, I think I had this one. No, 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 this is actually lighter than the one I have. But man, these don't smear, they look great. 
very not streaky. The one I have is anyways. It covers so well, like it saturates the page really well, and I love that. And the color choices are top notch. You guys know how much I love my teal and my yellow. Upcrate, come on now. You know I love you. Okay, I'm fairly certain that these Ecoline pens are uh, water soluble. I could be wrong about that, but I'm, I think they are. So let me try them real quick just to see. Not really. Okay, cool, awesome. The one I had I thought was, but I guess not. Superb, even better. Uh, we have turquoise green here, watercolor. I will say that I don't like that it didn't give me a palette with it, like some sort of uh, device to put the uh, the watercolor on, but that's no big deal. I can figure that out myself. That's the least of my worries, you know? The box you get from these guys are always pretty cheap. I think it was like 25, it's free shipping from Germany. Like, and it's like 25 bucks or something like that. That's crazy. So it's gonna be hard for them to not do a halfway decent box. Oh boy, that turquoise green. Oh man, I love that. Man, these Van Gogh paints are really good. Look at that, I mean, no streaking. That's a solid, solid ass color out there. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. All right, let's try these other ones. So let's try this indigo. I'm trying to mix it too much with the colors that are already in my palette here, but should be fine. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Just calm down. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. That's dark, dark. I love that. Oh, God. Look at that color. That's so rich. Man. Oh, man. Let's do his little face here. Just the shadows. And the unibrow, of course. Oh, I love that. That, that indigo is something else. That's so pretty. It's a beautiful color. Wow. That's a really, really good color. These colors, it's weird because they're all so different but they go so well together. Like we got three variations of blue, we have like three variations of yellow, then we have a black. This is ochre, I think, yellow ochre? Yeah, yellow ochre. Oh, I like that. It's really similar to that uh, eco pin though. Now, let's see what this extinguisher does. Let me see, I I'm gonna read this book. I'm actually gonna read the instructions. Look at Jake reading the instructions. Let's see, the Talons Ecoline brush pin is very user friendly. Oh, okay, so that goes with this. Okay, okay, so we're gonna go, okay. Ooh, even cooler. So now, it wasn't really water soluble. Let's see if it's Brush EX soluble. That is insane. Uh, uh, that, that is insane. That is ridiculously cool. Look at that. It completely ate away the color. Like there's barely any black, that is Friggin' crazy! That is so cool! Oh, that's the coolest shit I've ever seen. What is this? Oh, that's so neat! Man! Because so just, you know, just so we know, the black doesn't really go away all that much. There's still some yellow left. But dude, that those two yellows and that blue are gone. That's incredible. I'm blown away by that. I've never seen something work so well. I wonder if it works on the watercolors. I doubt it, but let's see. Yeah, so it doesn't work on the uh, it doesn't work on the watercolors. But that's fine, man. Listen, y'all, that's awesome. That's really, really, really cool. Like that's really impressed me. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this box because it is super weird, and I mean that in a really good way. Weird things are good things. But we're gonna go ahead and get started on a piece. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try to use this heavily because this is really cool. I might do some splatter or something with it to get the get the dots to come out. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started with a piece, and I'll walk you through how I did everything. Whew, boy, Daddy can't wait for this. I'll be right back. So for this piece, I started out about like every other piece. I sketched it out, not with my handy dandy uh, two millimeter lead holder, unfortunately, but I did use the wooden two B pencil that came with it, and it's fine. It's just it's a pencil, you know. You can't really go wrong with a pencil. But I did this light sketch of uh, this old man's face and I kind of threw like a robe on him. He ended up looking kind of like a weird cosmic wizard kind of thing. I don't know, you know what I like. Didn't really know what I was doing, I just knew I wanted to do a subject like I always do. Next, I used the Van Gogh watercolors and let me tell you something about those Van Gogh watercolors. They are amazing. They're probably the best watercolors I've used on this channel. You need barely any of the pigment and it goes forever. So they're very long lasting and they cover really well. And it, they seem to streak less. I don't know what it was, but they, they blended so well together. But they're great, great quality. I took the teal and used it to color the shadows of the face. And then I went with the yellow and decided to do the highlights of the face in that. But a very light yellow ochre, so it kind of popped a little more. Once I did that, I took the indigo and colored the robe to give a much more of a darker look to it. And at this point, I thought it was looking pretty cool. 
cool. But you know me, I have to use every product in a box because I want to make sure I get a good objective review of the box. Then I decided to take the eco line markers and use all four of them to make some weird abstract background. Uh, which I thought turned out pretty cool. The, the whole page kind of popped and worked well together. The color scheme in this box was awesome. I loved it a whole lot. Then I took the Sakura Pigma Micron 10 and used it to do all my outlines on the face and do some rendering on the eyes and whatnot. You know my feeling on Pigma Sakura Microns. They're my number one pin, so, you know, I ain't really going to complain about that too much. And by too much, I mean not at all. And lastly, I took the Brush EX Extinguishing Solution and just kind of flicked it on the background. It's so cool. I did learn that it's kind of just like bleach. I think it is. It just smells like bleach. But it's really, really awesome. Like the way it just completely eliminates the color is very impressive to me. I'd never seen something work so well before. So I thought that was the coolest part about the box. And what a great little thing to throw in there. Like it gives you something really different to use. And at the same time, it works well. So like, what a great idea. Good job, Upcrate. So now let's get to the part that everyone wants to know, was it worth it? So Upcrate values this box at $44.51. The box is actually worth $43.10. So they overvalued it by a little over a dollar, but you know what, who gives a shit? Because this box is worth $43.10, I paid $25 for it and it shipped for that price. Insanity. Listen, you guys, I am on the Upcrate bandwagon. I'm telling you, I am all in on Upcrate right now. The last two boxes have been $40 to $50. Every product in it was great. The box worked well together. They tailor everything so well. The bottle post book they give you is so well put together. It tells you what every product is, how to use it. It gives you examples on using it. It's incredible. So I believe, honestly, only after two boxes of Upcrate, I think Upcrate's the best box I bought. Upgrade is incredible. The value, the creativity, the thought, the, the, the organization put into this, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed. So thank you for everyone who suggested this box to me. I will be getting this for a very long time. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yes, definitely get this box. If you want a ton of value out of your box and you want really fun products that are really well tailored together, that are good quality, get this box. If you don't want that, get any other box. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is great. And if you can't tell by now, it is a definite two thumbs up. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. Guys and gals and whoever, I appreciate you watching the video no matter who you are. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the piece I made. And I hope it helped you decide whether or not you wanted to get the box. That's kind of why I'm here. I'm suffering the payment of subscriptions so you guys don't have to. But regardless, I enjoy doing it. I'm glad you guys are hanging out with me. I do appreciate it so much. Be sure to catch our stream on Sundays at about 6 o'clock. I'll be doing some random art stuff and all that goodness. If you want to see more ridiculous antics. And by ridiculous, I mean really just silly and slightly abnormal. I wouldn't say ridiculous. I don't think I'm ridiculous. I think I'm more like absurd. Uh, absurd's a little too strong too. Let's say lukewarm silly. Yeah. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it and keep on drawing on. Later. Later.